Uh, well, I'm going to solve the problem number three. And it says find the fourth derivative of x if you have the second derivative of x uh, equals, five, equals pi e to the second power plus e to the power of 2x divided by 2 plus tan 2x. Well, uh, I pass exactly what we have here to here. And so uh, the first step, you could be this one, and it's derivate this. Well, it's like in here. It's like if you have a zero, and when you have a whole number, you have to cancel all this out. And when in here you have to derivate the 2x, the derivative of 2x is 2, and it's like we pass it right here. And in here you have to derivate the tan, and the rule says when you have tan, you have to move it out like a secant, but you have also to derivate the 2x, and it's 2, the derivative of 2x is 2. And we have this. Okay, then the second step you have to you have to multiply, well the one half times two equals one, or you can out cancel out this two and equals you have the one. And uh, plus the the same the same answer we have all right here, the two secant two to the second power of two x. Okay. And the third step you have to move it out, this exponent we have here, this out, and we have to put it like in a bracket, so like it's like multiplying all the secant to the 2x, and in here we have like the final answer for the third derivative of x, but they ask us uh, to find the fourth derivative, so we continue and derivate all what we have in the answer in here, and this is the first step. The derivative, as we said, uh, that of 2x is 2, and you move it at right here, like the whole number. And in here, we have to multiply the exponent times 2, that is 4. And uh, as the rule says, when you have a secant, you have to uh, write the secant, but you have right here, plus a tangent of 2x. The fifth step, um, it's multiply and in here like we have like a common like a common factor and we multiply the 4 and the 2 and we have as a result the 8 4 times 2 is 8 to the second power because we have two secants and we write again the tangent to the 2x uh, right here again and we have as a result the final answer right here uh, we have to move it out. The um, we we rewrite it again, but in a in a way that we write first the second and tangent. And when the answer is eight second to the second power times two x times tangent two x plus two e to the, to to the power of two x. Okay, so I'm going to make the problem number four. The first step I'm going to make is just um, divide these LNs using the product property. Here we have them already split. So the next step I'm going to make is get down these exponents. As you can see, 1 over 3 is here and 4 is here using the power property of the logarithms. Then I'm going to simplify this equation by finding the derivative 3 over 3x, the derivative of this and minus 2 over 5 minus 2x is our derivative of this LN. As you can see, I use this, this formula to get the derivatives. And the next term I need to make is just simplifying the, these terms. I multiply this 4 times this, and we get this simplified. And then I simplify more in order to get a more easier expression. As you can see, 4 over x, and this stays the same. And finally, the final step is just multiplying this outside 4 with the original, well, not the original, with the inside expression. So we get the 4 times 4 is 16 over x, and minus 4 times 2 is 8 over 3, 5 minus 2x. So this will be our final answer. So this is the problem 6, and the first step is I found the derivative, derivative of this which gave, which is 14 
x plus p divided by 2 and it gave me this which is 4 times cos uh, parentheses x plus p divided by 2 and so this will be the final derivative and once we have this we will have to substitute since we find it told us to find the tan equation of the tangent line so we have to substitute this into this x right here so as you can see here I substituted it which gave 4 cos and parentheses p divided by 2 plus uh, p divided by 2 and uh, this is a plus and the answer which would give you minus 4 that minus 4 would be your slope which is your m so here we already have your x and your m and you would just need to find the y so we use here we substitute this one into the original equation so which would be right here it gives me 0 so y is 0 x is p divided by 2 and m is minus 4 and well the final step well we use this equation which is y equals mx plus b and well you put your 0 which is your y minus 4 which is your m and p divided by 2 which is your x well we have it over there plus b and we multiply these two and we would pass these two to the other side which would give us b equals 2p and well at the end we to find our tangent line we would be y equals minus 4x plus 2p and the minus 4 well we would it would be from the m and well the 2p is your b and that would be your finite.